What's good, everybody? For those of you guys who are new to my channel, my name is Sydney Baker Green. I'm an international cinematographer and colorist, and today we are going to do a video that was requested in the comment section of a previous color grading video asking me, how do I color grade my YouTube studio set? And I think right now is the perfect time to create this video, seeing as that I'm working on part two of my DaVinci Resolve color grading course, which talks about how Color grading does not start in post-production on the computer like we like to think it actually starts in set design. When you're working in pre-production with your director, how we make our set and design our set, whether we're working with colors outside or indoors, whatever we have control over, influences our picture in post-production. But I wanna give you guys some insider knowledge on how I do this as well. So without further ado, let's jump right into the tutorial. Roll intro. All right guys, so before we get into color grading, let's start by taking a look at our set design. I want you guys to notice a few things. One, our neutral colors. You can see here, I have a gray neutral pillow, I have a gray neutral cover on the couch, and my wall is a charcoal. It is gray, it looks, it appears blue right here because I have a blue light up here as well as a red light. So you can see this wall easily takes on the colors of my light. And this will also allow me to push colors in in post-production, which is why I specifically chose a neutral dark color to act as a mid-tone in the daytime or to act as a shadow at nighttime, like we are in this scene. And then last thing I want you guys to notice is our oranges here. Gold picture frames, gold pillows, gold on my shirt. We have gold on my desktop monitor and my skin is an orange color. So what do these colors equal up to? Well, they are right here on our color wheel, the orange. And so when I wanna go in and push a teal and orange look, I can easily do the complementary color scheme here. And that's exactly what I do in each and every color grade. And I also have the ability to push different colors in there if I want to do something more triadic. I could push in a magenta too, and then a green as well. So it just allows me to have multiple options. Let's get into the color grade. So let's start with the color grade. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set our black point right before zero IRE. So we're gonna come right here. And right before everything is starting to hit zero IRE, we have our black point set. Now we're gonna take our white point and we're gonna push it up right before all of our highlights start to hit 100 IRE. Now you may notice something, I'm gonna draw this back just a little bit. You may be saying, okay, Sydney, well, you're blowing out these lights right here. Well, those are my lamps right there. My camera is not able to capture that bright of a dynamic range. So those will be blown out, but we have everything else, the highlights of my skin, which are more so what I'm concerned about in the midtones of my skin, those are looking great. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add in some saturation to bring the image to life. And I know on my camera, that is looking pretty good right there. So this is our before, this is our after. This is what everything looks like before we even get into the actual color grade. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a node, jump right into skin tones. This is where you would use the skin tone module in my color grading course. So you see, I went into the qualification and I selected the mid-tones of my skin. But because we also have some other colors on set, I'm gonna select the color of my pillow as well and see just how much of this we can get in here before we start grabbing unnecessary things. So you can see here, we're starting to grab some of these um, picture frames right here, which is great. We want that. Let's see if we can get that in there without really sacrificing too much of the wall. What we don't want is our wall. Everything else is fine. The wall, the picture frames right here, that is fine. So that's a great qualification as is. Let's also add the gold in another shirt. Cool. So we have the gold right there too. I'm gonna denoise. I'm gonna add in some low soft to take care of some of that as well. We're gonna add in some clean whites, as well as some clean blacks to really make sure that that wall is taken care of. Now that we have that taken care of, we're gonna come into our power window. Remember, we're just turning this on to isolate the information and the vector scope. We just wanna make sure that our skin tones are on the right level. So our skin tones are looking pretty good with our skin tone indicator. You can turn that on in this menu right here. 
So we don't need to make any offset adjustments to correct the hue of the skin tones, if that makes sense. We're set pretty much there, but we are gonna push a warmer color into the midtones, and we're gonna do that by selecting our midtones, pushing a color in, and then moving our low range until we start to see that affected. Okay, now we see we're in the right area now, but we're pushing in the wrong color. So we're just gonna push in a little bit of a more of a red until we keep that information on that line. Now let's go ahead and take a look at what we have. So we're gonna turn off our power window now. Before, after the skin tone qualification. Also gives us some warmer colors here. I'm just gonna mess with the high range a little bit, the low range, I mean, until it looks good. So we bring it down, that's where we see it. Now we're gonna pull back on that just a smidge, right there. So before, after, you see we just add in some liveliness to the skin. I'll play around with it until I like it. Right about there, okay. Now that our skin tones are corrected, we're gonna go ahead and just, again, double down on that denoise here until we get rid of some of that color noise. And that's perfect. Let's go ahead and add another serial node and now we're gonna add our layer. And this is the final step. We connect the alpha output as always. And I'm going to go ahead and shoot for my teal and orange look. Now notice the lights here too. Teal and orange, I'm adding in lights kind of like they did in the Joker. They added actual colored lights to get some of that atmosphere that they wanted and to help with their color grading. It wasn't all just post-production. Remember, teal and orange is just pushing teals into the midtones. So we start by using our knowledge of color theory, mixing a dark blue in the shadows with a very nice blue in the midtones. And then we adjust our low range until those colors mix properly. And we do the same thing with our high range. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add another node so that we can cancel out some of the, the blue and the blacks. And we're also going to make a correction in the first node as well. So in our first node, we're gonna go back and we're gonna just add in some contrast, just like that. And then, using our knowledge of color theory, we're gonna cancel out the lower end of this correction right here. So we're gonna go ahead and add the opposite color. See how we did that? We're adding in the opposite color, but now we're adjusting the low range so that just cleans up our shirt a bit. It has just a hint of teal to it, but not too much is the key of what we're going for. So if we delete it, this node, this is the blue we have. We're just keeping that blue nice in this area. That was our before and after. And this is our before and after on the color grade as well. And that is how I go about color grading my set in DaVinci Resolve. As you guys can see, my method of teaching is something that I apply to myself, something that's simple and straightforward and gets the job done. Color grading does not have to be that complicated. If you guys are interested in learning more about the pre-production aspect of color grading, then I urge you guys to enroll in my DaVinci Resolve color grading course. Currently, you'll be able to get a head start on part one, which shows you how to use the program and how to achieve all the looks that we'll be going through using my set as an example on this channel. If you guys liked this video, be sure to give me a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications if you already have not. Be sure to follow me on my social media. The links are in the description down below as well as the YouTube fam. Their links are also in the description down below. If you are ever feeling uninspired, uncreative, or just want to give up on life, remember every day airplanes take off against the wind. Live, love, laugh, stay inspired, and as always, stay fabulous. My name is Sydney and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.